Another important property of lines are the vertical and horizontal intercepts. And we looked at these a little bit in the, uh, in the first section of this unit. Uh, the vertical intercept, as you recall, is the place where your graph crosses the y-axis. And the horizontal intercept is the place where your graph crosses the x-axis. Now, for linear functions, the vertical intercept is often easy to find. Because if you remember, if you have an equation in y equals mx plus b form, the y-intercept is just that b value. However, um, if your equation is not in this form, then you have to do some work to get it in that form and find the value for b. Another option that you have to find the y-intercept, which works regardless of if this is a linear function or any other type of function like we're going to cover this quarter, um, something that you can think of is if it crosses the y-axis, that happens when x is equal to 0. So for the vertical intercept, x is equal to 0, and then you have a y-coordinate, and that's going to be the vertical intercept. If you kind of come back over here, here's my y-axis. If this is my vertical intercept right here, then the x-coordinate is 0, and the y-intercept is whatever that value is. Um, so taking a value, setting x equal to 0, and then finding the y value from that is a really straightforward way that you can go. Let's go ahead and find the vertical intercept in our examples down here. Um, if I want to go ahead and set x equal to 0, then what I'm left with is 3 times 0, which is 0, 0 minus 5, which is negative 5, and I'm left with y equals negative 5 as my vertical intercept. If you want to write that as an ordered pair point, which I really do recommend, then we would write that as 0, negative 5. And this is our vertical intercept here. Um, in this particular example here, the y, uh, oh, in this example, in number 12, notice that this was in the form y equals mx plus b, and our b value was negative 5, which ended up being exactly the same thing as when we solved. So um, just kind of a nice heads up front. Um, over here, this one does not have the y by itself, so rather than solve for y and deal with a bunch of fractions, I would really recommend just go ahead and plug x equals 0 into my equation. And now I just have y in the equation I'm able to solve for y. In this case, 2 times 0 is 0, so that's out of the picture. Then I have negative 3y equals 4, and I can divide by negative 3 to get my y-intercept which, or to get my x-intercept, which happens when y is equal to negative 4 thirds. So again, coming over here, the x-coordinate is always 0, and then the y-intercept is whatever you calculate it out to be. So in this case, our vertical intercept would be 0, negative 4 thirds. Now, if you want to find the horizontal intercept, it's the place where the graph crosses the x-axis. So here's our x-axis. So if we had, for example, this line here, this one up spot over here would be where the uh, horizontal intercept or x-intercept lies. In this particular case, the x is going to be whatever the intercept is. And then the y value is going to be 0 because there's no up or down values motion from the axis spot. So here what we can do on a horizontal intercept is set y equal to 0 and then solve for x. Let's see what that would look like here. So for our horizontal intercept, that happens when y is equal to 0. So if y equals 3x minus 5, y is going to be 0. And now I have an equation that I need to solve for x. I can start by adding 5 to each side, divide by 3 on each side, and I get that x is equal to 5 thirds. Keep in mind that's the x-coordinate, so it comes first. The y-coordinate would be 0. That's what we plugged in in order to find the horizontal intercept. And that would give us the horizontal intercept of this first, y equals 3x minus 5. For number 13, 2x minus 3y equals 4. In this particular case, um, we start here. For the horizontal intercept, that happens when y is equal to 0. So we're going to plug in y for 0 here. 3 times 0 is 0, so that's out of the picture, and I'm just left with 2x equals 4. Real simple to solve for x. Divide by 2 on each side. I'm left with x equals 2. So 2 is the x-coordinate, 0 was the y-coordinate, and that is the ordered pair representing our horizontal or x-intercept for the line 2x minus 3y equals 4. So by setting um, x equals 0 for vertical intercept and setting y equals 0 for horizontal intercept, we're able to 
find those values fairly fairly simply for any equation that you may be given, linear or otherwise.